Hey everyone, this is a really quick demo of a project I created to essentially light up your room with music visualizer. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to have something that created really interesting uh, visual effects based on the music playing in a room. So I came up with a really simple project that you can build in under an hour on a breadboard using an Arduino Uno, a light strip like this one here, and a microphone module like this one from SparkFun. Any microphone module will do, but it's gonna require some amplification on board to actually amplify the sounds coming out of the microphone. And it's gonna need level shifting on the audio output so you can read it with a microcontroller. Additionally, any microcontroller can do, but I've only created code that works on Atmega 328 based microcontrollers because you need to do some fancy things with registers in order to read uh, the sound coming out of the microphone at a fast enough rate. So the way the project actually works is it samples the audio from that microphone that I just showed you. It then computes a Fourier transform to figure out the maximum frequency component present in the sound for that small chunk of time. And then it will display uh, using visual cues the maximum frequency component based on the color of the lights here. So right now it's just running a simple red light, but I will show you how it actually works. Let me turn it on. So you can see here right now it's reacting to the sound present in my voice, but you can disable the light output for music that's below a certain volume. So you don't get flickering when the lights are just on normally. So you'll see if I play a frequency component, you'll see different colors change based on the frequency. There's one tone. That's a little bit higher. And that's a little bit lower. And you can see here, the finished product. So unfortunately this project requires two power supplies because the lights will actually be pretty noisy in terms of voltage swings on whatever power supply you use. So you wanna decouple that from the actual microphone. Otherwise, you'll get some really weird noise and really weird frequency spikes inside whatever music you're trying to sample. Uh, you could theoretically do this with some capacitors, but I didn't really have the supplies to do this. So in general, uh, two USB power supplies will work just fine, although there's myriad ways you can do this. The final build instructions are listed in the description below.